Hello, we're going to cover today relative paths. Now relative paths is a very simple concept, but can be quite difficult in the real world. So here we have the example of two scripts that I've created earlier. The first script calls the second script. Now, since the second script will just output that it ran and a little bit of information like who am I in order to prove that it did actually run a command beyond echoing the I ran part. This is simply going to show the relative path between script one and script two. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and try to run this script and show you what will happen first of all. Now, the first thing that's going to happen here is it's going to fail. Now, the reason it's going to fail is because I've set it to require admin privileges to run this script and this command prompt is not opened with admin privileges. So I'm going to need to go to this com actual folder structure, but with a run as admin session, which usually means navigating to it since it's a rarity for an admin session to open up in the correct folder or your documents location. So we're just going to navigate down to the folder that contains the scripts first of all. And once we're there, we're going to go ahead and launch script one. Now script one should also launch script two. So as you can see, we're now in the correct path. I'm going to go ahead and launch script one. And as you can see, all ran fine. Now this is exactly what we would like to see, but this isn't necessarily what you would normally see. Now, the reason for this is because I've hard coded the script, but we're going to head, go ahead and try to run the script differently anyway. So now we're going to run the script, not from the local location of being in the same folder as both scripts, but from a different folder, in this case, the root of C and run the script. Now, in case you're wondering what should happen here, the answer is very simple. If the long path or relative path to the script is not listed in script one, then script two will fail. So the reason that script two has just succeeded here is because it's not the relative path that you see presented at the moment. It's actually a different path. So when I run it with the relative path, as you saw, I quickly saved there. Now, if I unsave and go back, you can see that the full relative path was listed, which is why it ran and will always run. But if that relative path is not there, then it will always fail, depending on your location. So maybe let's paint an example. If I'm in the C drive and I run a script that is in the temp folder, but the second script is also in the temp folder, the reason it will not necessarily run is because unless the first script points a relative path saying temp folder, it will not know where to find it. Hopefully you found this a useful video. If not, give us a comment or a thumbs down. If you did, give us a thumbs up or hit subscribe. Thank you.